Hi friends! The giant snake towering behind me like a skyscraper is Titanoboa, extinct 60 million years ago. Today we've got Titanoboa as a special guest. Mr. Titanoboa, do you mind sharing your life story? Yeah, I'm the heavyweight champion of the snake world, Titanoboa. At a total length of 13 meters, a diameter of 1 meter, and a weight of 1 ton, I am the largest and heaviest snake in history. You've got the green anaconda in your era, right? That guy's like my junior, but I weigh five times more than him. And to give you an idea, my 13 meters in length is about as tall as the fourth floor of a building. Do you get how incredible I am? But I've heard the basilisk from Harry Potter is 15 meters, so you're not the largest, right? Idiot! The basilisk is a fictional creature! I existed 60 million years ago. Don't compare me to that! Damn it! I hate the heat, and now you've got me all heated up. With a body this big, cooling down takes forever, and it's such a hassle. Sorry, how about I show you a cool place to chill? Idiot! I hate the cold even more! You know I can't manage my body temperature. Are you mocking me? If the temperature drops below 30 degrees, I get so cold I can't move. When we came into existence, it was right after the dinosaurs went extinct. Predating on large animals like crocodiles by the water, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say we were the most formidable creatures at the time. So, finding food was never an issue, but because of our huge size, we were terrible at regulating our body temperature and could only survive in environments between 30, 34 degrees. As the earth warmed up, we couldn't handle the heat and went extinct. Being small might make you weak, but agile. Being big like me makes you strong, but inflexible. It all comes down to balance, doesn't it? Talking about this is making me hot again, so I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. See you in the next video.